sure it doesn't fall down. Right here. Can we make this happen? Hi. It's been a little while. Roll the intro. Hello everyone, it is Alfred Borso and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. And I'm about to start a Pokemon Go. Well, not for the first time in a while, but to show you the new login screen that we got for the game. Today marks the beginning of a brand new decade. And also marks the beginning of my three year anniversary of being level 40 in the game. Niantic, hopefully this year we're gonna get a level cap increase because I hit it on the 31st of December at the last second heading into uh, 2017. But I know for most of the loyal viewers out there at this moment, I kind of sound like a broken record. You may have noticed I haven't really uploaded a lot of Pokemon Go content onto the channel. And that is because I've really been busy uh, launching my Twitch channel. I stream every single day. You guys know the drill. I'm not gonna even bother you guys with this. But as a result of that, I haven't really been uploading much and I have not really been partaking in the holiday events that have been ongoing for Pokemon Go. And it just so happens to be the case that today, the 1st of January in 2020, we got the final day of this event. So I kind of want to try and get myself a Cryogonal or potential Shiny Snorunt. That would be really quite cool. But more importantly, I'm here to let you guys know that starting today, I'm going to make a video every single day. But obviously, actions speak louder than words. I think it's a very, very great step that I'm here on the very first day, on the 1st of January, where it's quite, quite ice cold. I can see my own breath right now. But I, I want to do this. I want to, I want to give it at least, I want to give it a try. And uh, I want to try to sustain it. And this sounds really crazy. I want to try to sustain it while still daily live streaming on Twitch. So yeah, that's going to be my resolution, my goal of this year. I want to know from you guys, what's your goal with Pokemon Go? Or just what's your goal in general? Did you guys have a good celebration? I hope so. If you're watching this video, hopefully that means that you are safe. Um, I'm just happy to be back on YouTube at, at the same time uh, with Pokemon Go. So let's kind of go over what has been going on lately. Um, there's actually a couple of January events that are happening and the first one is going to be Community Day. Uh, Community Day on the 19th of January. As far as my prediction concerned, I think it's going to be Piplup, but I'm not really sure on that. I, I, I think it's highly likely because last year we had Totodile for January, which was also the water starter of Generation 2 and now we're Generation 4. I, I think it's very likely that it's going to be Piplup. But there's many, many more events that are ongoing here. We're gonna have five things that are happening in Pokemon Go. The first thing is the Giovanni special research with Team Go Rocket. It will be returning this time around. The third legendary bird, Moltres, will be available for this month. We will have new special breakthrough with uh, Lapras being the breakthrough reward. I think it's gonna be interesting. I think the reaction on that is gonna be mixed because some people are like, ah, we had the Lapras day. But then other people are gonna be happy because they have a chance of getting themselves a shiny Lapras, but then it has Ice Beam and Ice Shard, which are two, I think, legacy moves, right? So I think that's gonna be very, very interesting. It's gonna be here for a month. Another event that's gonna be happening this month is the uh, Hatchathon, in which you have the capability of getting better rewards, more starters, more candy, and Unova stones through Adventure Sync. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, incubate these into, I actually have a, a plenty of uh, permanent incubators. I'm definitely gonna be walking around. And is this from Niant Niantic CT? I have no idea where that is, but that's pretty cool. Another one that is pretty interesting is that Verizion will be replaced by Heatran in Pokemon Go on the 7th of January. Now today is Wednesday, so that should be raid hour. So I'm kind of curious to see in about an hour from now whether or not people are going to be showing up for Verizium raids because I did a couple during the first raid hour but didn't get myself a good one. So we'll see about that later. But Heatran can be shiny and you might be wondering what does it look like? Well, it looks the same, but the eyes are pink. And we got another shiny check here. So yeah, the, the eyes are pink. I think that's pretty interesting. I think that's kind of cute in, in, in a way. Yeah. And of course, last. But not least, we got an excellent throw. But new Unova Pokemon will be coming to Pokemon Go. The second wave. I, I call Cryogonal and Kupchu and Beartick. I call that wave 1.5 because it's just too 
three Pokemon being released in the game, right? And I'm hoping that more Galarian 4 Pokemon will be coming to Pokemon Go at some point as well. I think it's going to be very interesting to take a look how these videos are going to be structured, these daily videos for Pokemon Go. I definitely have a lot of plans written down because this is not something that kind of came out of the blue. I announced it a while back that I was going to be doing daily videos for Pokemon Go. I have a lot of how-to videos, uh, a lot of updated guides that I want to kind of go over. Also aim towards beginning Pokemon players because, you know, in, in a game like Pokemon Go, there will always be players that will be coming back to the game and they got no idea sort of what is going on right now. Ooh, another shiny. I really want Electric as a shiny. But I do have news for you guys. I actually kind of want to dive into that right now. Every single episode on this channel, we're going to do a little something special, a little bit more, I guess, main series, if you will. Uh, this is a pack of the Pokemon trading card game. And in every single episode, I'm just gonna go ahead and open this on camera and give you guys the code. So if you haven't already, if you're into the TCG, you want these codes, then turn on your notifications. But I'm trying to aim to get a video out by eight o'clock Central European time. That would be 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I think that today's video will be up a little bit later because, well, it's a little bit late and I've been celebrating the new year. I've been sleeping quite a bit. So let me turn the camera around so that way I can show you what's in these packs over here. Let's know over here. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most bootleg Pokemon card opening. Um, the way this works is, here's the code. You guys can use that. Here we go. So what we do is, we take four cards from the front, and then this one will be the rare card. So we'll reveal this last. So we've got a Fighting Energy. We have an Anorith. Ooh. Look at that artwork. Gloom. It's a bit shadowy. Sorry about that. Let me change that. Lana's fishing rod. Dusko. Almost looks as if it's like a sticker that's added on top of the background. Kind of weird. Timple. New Pokemon which will be coming hopefully soon. Flabebe. Generation 6 Pokemon. It's a little strange creature. Not sure how to feel about this one. Alolan Sanshiro, look at this one. Also kind of looks like it's a sticker. But I love this artwork and the background is so cute. Oh, Ponyta. Good old. This is a reverse holo. The second to last card, which has this kind of glossy background, is a reverse holo. This is a Generation 7, kind of like Dragonite, Como O. But this would be the final evolution, so... And then Dragalgi. I don't even know. I'm not familiar with this Pokemon. This is also probably gen generation number six. Sadly, this is not great. The little star over there indicates that that is the rare card. So today we didn't get much of anything. But we do have the snow over here. I'm gonna quickly run away. So far the uh, glacial lure has not brought us much of anything, but it also ran out. I've been here for half an hour already. So I know for a fact that a lot of you guys might be worried, reversal, what if you got a really good card? Well, I always will bring some top loaders with me in case that might happen. So don't you worry about a thing. Obviously, some of you guys are like, are you going to be covering the buddy update? I did record a video on that, but it's currently work in progress. It's, uh, it's something that I will maybe combine with tomorrow's video, but I have not decided on that yet. Basically showcasing a lot of the cool Pokemon that you might be interested in for the buddy feature. But I've been dabbling around with it. My opinion is that it's amazing. Uh, I think there's a lot of work that has gone into it. And, and I think that Niantic has done a... Oh! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Every time I uh, I take a break from Pokemon Go, I, <laughs> I, I totally don't deserve this. I totally do not deserve this. Um, <laughs> oh, what a return! <laughs> Yo, I'm so happy with that. I'm actually really happy with that. If I don't play, I don't... I usually get these shinies, but when I play, I just don't. 
Uh, there's an objective. Take five snapshots of Ice-type Pokemon. Okay, let's do it with the Sneasel immediately then. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Done with that. Quest completed. I got no idea what it is. Oh, Kupchu. Hey, hey. I'm gonna go out and catch this. Kupchu, of course, the new Pokemon just released in Pokemon Go. It has been spawning quite frequently. So I already did get myself the Pokedex entry and the beer tick. Gonna transfer all these Kupchu. And in, in case you might have not seen it yet, the evolution of Kupchu into beer tick is happening here right now on my screen. And voila, look at this bear. That looks quite intimidating, I gotta say. And then it turns dark. It actually turns dark right now outside. We got another Deli Bird though. I'm gonna be here uh, for a little bit, see what is gonna be spawning. I'll bring you guys back if something interesting happens, like a, a shiny perhaps. I found it, I found it. Cryogonal, haha. <laughs> One, two, three, four. It's off to the side, so I'm gonna have to hold my phone like so. And turn on the light a little bit so that way you guys can see my face a little better here. Okay, there we go. Going in with the shake. Oh, what? <gasps> no! That was my Pokedex entry, Kyogono that ran away. And it was green. Oh, really? Out of all the things you can spawn, you spawn a Feebas. God, if that was a shiny, that would have triggered me so much. In case you guys don't know, this Pokemon right now is a hunt I'm doing in Pokemon Sword and Shield on Twitch. Follow me. It is in the description down below. I'm streaming every day. And I've been hunting this for this Pokemon for um, over a month right now. Because there's a 1% chance for this Pokemon to appear in the game. So every 100 times I encounter a Pokemon, one of them, on average, would be a Feebas. And I've done it over 20,000 times, encountering Pokemon, that is. And I've found 190-something. So, that's why it's funny, because last time during Community Day, I also hatched some Feebas as well, during that same hunt. So, yeah, anyway, I want Cryogonal. That's kind of the one that I need right now. Maybe Pokemon Go believes in second chances, because this one's even higher, CP. Okay, I'm... Slightly concerned about this cryogonal here. Um, okay, that's a great throw. Please don't break free. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh, wait, yeah, that the third shake, obviously, in Pokemon Go. Yeah, that, that's how much Sword of Shoot I've been playing, right? There we go, we got it! And fireworks! Yeah! Fireworks for the Pokedex entry Choreogono. That was actually kind of perfect. Oh, look at that. Well, you can barely see it. Okay, so a couple of people showed up for the uh, raid hour. We actually just now managed to take it out with three people, which I ended up changing the moves of my Rayquaza to all flying type moves. I have five Rayquaza maxed out and I did have a Lugia, but I backed out on the Lugia to go back and recover all the Pokemon. And we took it down with like 50 seconds left to go. So that was pretty convenient. I was a little bit worried that we wouldn't be able to get anything done, but even with very little manpower, we're able to take it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of, well, I don't know. We're gonna do a couple of Rizlian and then probably call it an episode or something like that. So we managed to take down uh, three Verizion and I uh, managed to capture all of them. Sadly, none of them had any good IVs. I'm also assuming that this is going to be the last time I'll have an opportunity to do Verizion Raid. So next time will be Heatran. And I'm pretty sure that the moment Heatran will be back in Pokemon Go, there's gonna be a lot of people here who are gonna be willing to take it down for Raid Hour because it, at that moment, can be a shiny just like this Stantler with the bells, which I actually don't have yet. I, I, for the record, have no idea what's good in CP or not, but I'll just appraise it after. And with the shiny check, we, no. 
it's really starting to get dark and it's also starting to get cold so that in mind i think it's starting to do the one thing that we always do and it is to shout out the legends who take their subscription to the next level of course i'm talking about the people who are supporting me on patreon.com slash reversal george thank you so much for the support aditya roy van bergen brian newman jonathan uh, ice master 1001 brenda lot julie elon uh, Celeste, Stephanie Reacts, Joan Spare Time, and of course, Purple Haze. Thank you all so much for helping support the channel. And that's gonna be doing it for this very first episode of the decade. I'm gonna be back again tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. As always, make sure if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. And once again, the question of this video will be, uh, what are your Pokemon Go resolution or what is something you've got set in mind that you wanna accomplish in this particular decade? That in mind, I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and this is Reverse for Pokemon Go. I'm gonna be signing off and I'll see you guys back again tomorrow with more Pokemon Go.